So yeah, welcome to the stream. Uh, doing more of this. I did this. Yeah, I did this. Alright, cool. Yeah, so... Does a death counter now because it was requested. Um, I guess I should have the thing that increments it, like, somewhere handy. There we go. I have to click a button, but, you know, it's fine. That button... It's not a pain in the ass to click it. However, do you, do you know, 20... Um, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sure that's the total that it was up to, but... Maybe that's it. At worst, it's like off by one and it can get corrected. What? Good morning. Welcome to Mario Mart. This is where you'll find our general store, the Coral Reef, our workshop. The Hammerhead is also here. Or do you need something else? No, right, goodbye. You bet I'll die for 20 times. Well, I almost feel tempted to run a contest and see if anyone can get it correct, right? Make a prediction. But yeah, hey, confirming. Okay, for now that'll 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 do. That'll do. Look at his belly button. Who's belly button? Links. What about Links belly button? The Gorons? What? Live birth? What do you mean? Hi. I mean, this, is that a belly button or is it just a... Uh, okay, maybe it is. Stop turning around. <laughs> it doesn't want me to see it. Yeah, th uh, I, I guess. I don't know. Could be a birthmark. Okay, I've been I've been walking around here too long. Let's just let's just go do something instead of focusing on the Goron belly button, bulge, stomach bulge thing. It's not what I was expecting to spend the first opening minutes of this talking about. This wasn't how you expected the start of the stream to be. Well, it never is how you expect. Oh, the, I was looking for the cooking thing. Anyway. That aside... Okay, hold on. I need to look up recipes. We want that gives good stamina. We need a, a, a wiki. A wiki type thing. Why is it that when I try to look up recipes for this game, it just comes up with people coming up with cookbooks? Anyway. Stamina recipes, there we go. Okay, so endure carrots. B. Okay, this is this is a good one. I think I can do this one. Take them all. <laughs> this is a good one. This one can definitely do. Okay, so it's... 
two shrooms, two fish, and one salt. Very good. That's good. That's gonna come in handy. And I'll just do a, a few of them, because we want that. These are gonna be like our, our climbing ones, alright? So we want... Uh, it was... Two fish. Two shroom. And one salt. Okay. If I'm ever in trouble and I need to climb somewhere that I can't get to, that's what it's going to be. Two shroom. Two fish. And one salt. Okay. Now this one, I don't know if I can make this one. We'll see. I can make this one. Okay, cool. Three hardy truffles and two hardy salmon, assuming I have the salmon. Mighty carp, armored carp. I don't think I have the hardy salmon, so I might have to skip that one. Okay, leave that one be. Don't accidentally cook it. Hardy bass plus hardy salmon. Two hardy salmon. Four raw and an endure carrot. Four big truffles. Four gourmet meats. Four durit. It's okay. I don't really have anything to do heart stuff. And we have the cold resist, which is not what really we want. Defense and attack. Okay. This one we can probably do. Uh, and then an egg. Kyokun music is so happy, yeah. Well, unless you don't mess it up. But hello, is a Twitch at How are you? Uh, there we go. I guess I can't do anything with temp health yet, so that, but that's fine. I'll make a few omelets. And then we have some that are just going to be generic healing. Working and working. Fair enough. <laughs> Have I got anything that can give me temp health? I think I need... Now this is just, uh... I just need some, some heal. So these are just gonna be basic, basic heal. Radishes when cooked give temp health, okay. These are just, 
these are these are my simple these are the ones that I just did restores with right so if I ever just need to restore my base health I need to hang on to some apples because I will need them but Well, let, let's go with the the combination, which is like salt and then um, I guess two meat. Let's just see what happens. Full recovery. That's not bad. It's a plus seven, so... I want to see what five does. This is trial and error. Yeah. Plus 15 hearts. Was that a crit? I don't know. I don't know what it means when you do different music, but... It's a crit, okay. Weird, but okay. Ah, oh, that's disappointing. It lost its effects. Well, that was the one that had the crit. The love. No, it's not. What icon would it have if it would be crit? I don't, I don't see it. I mean, at any rate, this is, this is fine. We got, a, we got different meals for different purposes. You only eat raw in this game. <laughs> Fair. It's fucking raw. What are you doing, you donuts? You can't eat this raw bird. It must be cooked first. No, I mean, when you're in the heat of combat and you don't have food, there's nothing wrong with that. It's... It happens, right? I'm just creating a bunch of utility food. Sometimes we do need to be quicker. Yeah, I mean, that'll do, I think, for now. For now, that will do. Moblin got to the best monster part for elixirs. Something like that. I have to look at the elixir crafting, but the problem is I'm not really killing much of them in this. You want to see some shit? Look at that. This is what I must deal with on the way up. 
How many arrows do I have? 25, okay. This is like, that's not too bad. feeling pretty refreshed today because I don't know what it was but yesterday I kind of wrapped up work I had food and then I watched yeah I watched some stuff and then I just felt tired and I just like, kind of just slept <laughs> woke up just uh yeah it's been full of energy today I definitely slept like 10 hours. It may have been just being up late a lot the last two weeks, just in the interest of getting Zelda games done, but. Korok somewhere here. Okay, hold on. Uh, still gotta get used to this. That is an excellent shield. I get it, there's a Korok nearby. <laughs> I honestly forget what what this one is. Some of some of the ones that I've gotten they're off vague memory. It's just oh, yeah, I remember this one. This one, not so sure. Hmm. It has a pretty big range. could possibly be up high up on oh no there it is i see it i didn't see that structure got it blink jump <laughs> okay it was i, I mean i think the way this is gonna go is just see what I can do in a month. That's how I'm playing it. If I find the 900 Korok, so be it. But if I don't, I'm not stressed about it. I'm not gonna put off Tears of the Kingdom just to find the Koroks. So that's... I think that's my decision on it, is... The shrines I will do... But, you know, I, I'm thinking... The suggestion was pretty much the day before... The, Tears comes out, just go fight Ganon. Assuming I haven't already. And I think that's the right call. Not allowed to play until I have 100% it. But the concept of 100% is different in every everyone's eyes. Some people see 100% as just getting the shrines and the Koroks. Other people say it's doing all the side quests. Some people say it's side quests plus the compendium which is like taking photos of every item and i don't know man for me 100 percenting a zelda game is finding all the heart containers and weapons that's but because this game doesn't technically 
do weapons in the same way as previous entries. It's like, nah. So I'll, I'll do some Lionel fighting today. And then I think I'll head over to uh, Kakariko and then go to Hatino to get the photography, th photography thing going. That's my loose plan. And I'll probably like start getting the towers as well and mapping out where the Hinox are. Because that the Hinox are pretty much your source of weaponry in Master Motors. You go steal weapons from them when you run out. And that's the best way to get weapons. It's just not worth it getting it any other way because you will lose more weapons than you gain. So, uh, that's at least how I I played it. That's what I came to uh, conclude that to make sure that I have enough weapons. I also need to get my my hands on a fire sword. That's like probably the most important weapon to find, because the fire sword is the thing that's going to let me progress up mountains with just the, uh, the basic, uh, food buff. For those that don't know, if you're holding a fire weapon, it counts as a source of heating. So if you need to go to those mountains that are really cold, have a fire weapon on your back, uh, and you just eat your standard uh, cold resist food and you have enough. Like, you can be completely naked like I am and survive perfectly fine, as long as you have a fire sword on your back. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I just need to find one. Yeah, good luck with the camel beast. Uh, Thunderblight uh, Ganon sucks. Worst one of the three to fight, in my opinion, so... Have fun. Granted, that comes from a place where, like, you know, <laughs> the way I'm playing the game probably doesn't make it the easiest thing to fight, but. There are four. Right, why do I keep saying three? I don't know why. That's the, not the first time. But you know what I mean, out of all of them. Like, don't, don't focus on the number, focus on what I said. The message is, yeah, it's the most annoying of them. Now, as far as wearing clothing, the rule that I set was I can swap to clothing that helps me traverse or get to areas that I can't get to. For example, uh, in the Gerudo area, you have to be in women's clothing to even get into the base. And I think here, to even get up here, there's no other way. I mean, I could eat stamina food, but I feel like that's a waste. So, like, the way I approached it was I'm allowed to wear the, uh, the Zora armor just for the time that I climb, ascend the waterfall. But then after that, I have to take it off. So that's the rule I'm going to follow. Because unfortunately, there's just no way to climb when it's raining. Also, this is probably going to be a death here. Okay. Uh, Alright, Zora armor. This is purely just to get up this... I think that the input should come up, hopefully. There it is. And thankfully it doesn't cost any extra stamina, so... Okay, and now, just... there. I mean, I could, I could be completely sadistic and say, well, no clothing swap allowed. And that I have to, uh, 
use stamina food to get up here, but that would just suck. Okay, give it a sec. We'll go back to not noticing me. Oh. I can just... Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, the no fast travel rule, I think the reason I put it into play was just because... The hero's path thing is just so much more meaningful when you see everything you traverse. I mean, you can already see it, right? And it's kind of cool to play it out, right? Like, you'll see, this was my this is my journey so far. And I, I think it's neat. Oh, and you get to see the deaths along the way as well. <laughs> Which... Oh, we can confirm it. Three? Four. Five. Six. Seven. Jeez. Eight. Wait, that can't be right. Okay, no, it's fine. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. <laughs> that can't be right. According to this, I've only done thirteen times. That can't be right. It's definitely been more than that. Oh, uh, but you know what? It probably doesn't keep track of the ones inside shrines. That might be it. Does it only count when you're killed? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how it works, but it's definitely not that. Like, I know that I've I've hit. Or it's like around twenty. Because we were keep. I wasn't keeping count. Chat was keeping count, and I trust that. So, that is definitely wrong. When you drown, it doesn't count. Well, uh, I don't know. I don't know what how it works. But there's definitely a few missing there. It's okay. I, I made my, uh, my overlay thing work. So we can... That was meant to be a question. No, I know. But, like, my answer is I don't know. I took it as a question, not a statement. I think, I mean, I, I should be, I should be looking at doing this in a manner where I'm not going around the map in a random direction. I think I should pick an area and just try and clear it properly. But for now, I came here because Lionel weapons are important, so I, I need those as soon as possible. I'm kind of, uh... Okay, so this is, again, I'm putting this on just to swim up. No other reason. Okay. 
Okay, and then remove. Why is the battle music started? Has something seen me? I do appreciate being able to carry whatever food I want. What the fuck? Where did that come from? That's <laughs> like from off screen. Alright, increase. Did it work? It should have worked. I tested before I started streaming. Yeah, that that was I can't believe that hit me. Where am I? Am I where I was or is this below? Can't tell. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure how it saw me from over there. That was weird, but anyway. It's fine. <laughs> like I said at the start of this, I'm gonna die and I'm gonna die a lot. It's fine. Hello, Henzo. Welcome. What's going on? Uh, not a lot. Just kicking back. Started this yesterday just to play it before Tears comes out. I've been playing through all the Zelda games in the lead up to it, so... Finally up to this one. I'm doing my own weird challenge thing that I... I'm doing just to make it a little more interesting. See, look at how dumb they are. I'm surprised it was able to snipe me from that far away. Anyway. Okay, so I am below. Uh, I finished this before. Yeah, this is my second time playing it. I played it when it first released, so. You went to the midnight launch? Oh, cool. Yeah. I wish I could have gone, but I had work the next day. So instead, I went to just pick it up. There's just too much going on here. Yeah, how, how did that thing snipe me from there? How did that even happen? Because, like, what, I was up here, right? That's a hell of a shot to make. I think I just got unlucky. <laughs> anyway. Thanks for the follow, I appreciate it. 
Today uh, I'm doing master mode and I'm not upgrading anything until all the shrines are done. Slash Koroks. I mean, I'll see how far I can get in the one month that's left. No fast travel. What else? I feel like there's another rule I forgot that I set with this. Oh yeah, no clothes. Unless I require it to traverse, which you need it for the Gerudo area. And to some degree here. Oh crap. Why'd you climb, Link? <laughs> I didn't want to climb. Okay. Yeah, the sequel should be fun. Just, I'm not sure if it's going to be the same sense of wonder, though. This is one of these games that I wish I could experience again for the first time. Because it is the same map again, so it's... We haven't really seen to what extent they've uh, altered it. Other than the Sky Islands. Going up. Doll be heaps of new stuff. No, I, I I get that, but I mean, based off what they've shown, they've shown stuff with regards to the the sandbox element, the adventuring part, but they haven't really shown much in way of what we're actually doing, and I mean that in the sense of. Are there going to be dungeons? It's like the number one question that's on everyone's mind. Because if there isn't, then what? It's sh it's shrines again? Or like, are the islands just larger ver versions of shrines? That's... It's kind of weird that it's a month away and they haven't really addressed that side of the gameplay. And it's one of two things. It's either they want to keep it a secret, no spoilers. Or they're kind of worried that people might complain that they see it as a $70 DLC as opposed to, like, a true sequel that has dungeons. So, I think I'll I'll have fun either way. But I, I can't help but wonder what it's actually going to be in the end. I'll be cool if they have, uh, just more stuff like Hyrule Castle. Because that area was cool. <laughs> Sorry. I tried not to do that. Uh, there should be more along here. We'll see. See how I go with the Lionel thing. It's been it's been a few years. I have to treat it like I'm playing a Souls game. We're not going to fight you just yet. I just want to make sure I get everything around here first.
Uh, I think going down one more level is a mistake. Let me just see. Because I don't think there's any way to walk back up. If there is, I'll go down, but otherwise just go see the Lionel now. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there is. As long as I can get back up, that's all. Yeah, it should be fine. I think here is viable. Maybe. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Tell you what, I, I hope that in tears they give us a way to climb in the rain. I don't care if it's behind an armor set that you have to wear, I'll take it, but man, it's one of those things that just when you're trying to do something and then it rains, ugh. This area is fair enough, like, it's the base that's doing this. When I saw the climbing set, the very first thing that came to mind was, Oh, maybe I'll, I'll be allowed to climb in the rain now. Eh, nope. want the story to be awesome. Yeah, I mean, that's that's one of the complaints I heard about this game was compared to... When you compare it to something like Twilight, for example, it's a bit lighter on the story, so... It'd be good to see a bit more story this time. I mean, I think I should do the mountain and then continue on the shelf. All right. Okay. Forgot just how empty this area is. It doesn't have a high Korok density. See how rusty I am. I think for the first life, I'm not going to use the because I've made some food that gives me more temp health. But I'm not going to use that right away, because it's the first time I'm fighting this thing in a long time. Ah, no, no, can't let it see me. We have to... Okay, saving. Uh, one sec. Hmm, 
we'll see how this goes. No. That's not what I wanted to do, but okay. Shit. <laughs> yeah, that was quick. Hang on. Let me read up on something real quick. Because it's not really explained ever. So how does this work? Hold on. Okay, maybe... Because I was trying to lock on, but then it brought out the shield and... I, I did the right thing. It's just I was going for Flurry Rush and not the parry. How the f... Yeah, see, I'm... I'm gonna die a lot here. Hold up. I'm just reading on how this actually works. You lock on. Oh, that's what I was doing wrong. Okay. That makes sense. I was pressing A, but it looks like it's Y. No, but Y is attack. Why is it Y? I'm not going to fight it until I have definitive, like... That R and Y. It's so weird, but okay. I'm just gonna trust it. Once I get the hang of it, then it'll be fine. Sort of worked. <laughs> this is gonna go to like 50 deaths so quickly. It's okay. This is the, the training montage where I get my ass kicked for like an hour and then suddenly it clicks. What? <laughs> 
has to be this. Let's put away a weapon. Oh, man. I'm reading the instructions again. You can only do it when dodging an enemy attack. Target something with ZL. Side hop, and then... Hang on. Uh, okay. Let me try this. I think that's the pace that I'm missing. That is, that is the gist of it. Okay. If I bust my weapon durability, I'll just load. Alright, oh, increment death count. Shit. I will learn to get good. Half the deaths that I've are just gonna be here, aren't they? Okay, I gotta focus. Go with the cheap weapons for now. Oh. Okay, hold up. I need a heal. Oh, do I? No, not really. It doesn't matter. Oh shit, right there. I forgot about the master mode, quick! I need to keep poking it. Okay. gone for that. <laughs> okay, I lasted longer that time. Uh, okay. I'm gonna load my file. Because now, now that I've gotten it. Not the autosave, the one before the autosave. Okay, I got it. 
you know what the one thing that keeps tripping me up and it's just because i played all the zelda games before this this is the first time where you have to manually jump and in all the other ones the jumping is kind of semi-automatic so that's it's tripped me up a couple times and that's all i was missing from this Oh. Okay. I think I think it's that's better now. I need, a, I need a weapon swap. Whew. Okay, quickly swap back. Oh, no. Another death. It's okay. Hello, Lanius. Uh, how's it going? Getting reaccustomed to fighting Lionels on no health, so. I'm getting better. Oh, cool. Alright. And maybe I don't need to load my save. It's all good. I mean, I'm getting closer about it. I think now what I can do is start it. Investing this. Five minutes, let's go. Yeah. I spent uh, my lunch break yesterday. And a little bit of... Oh, damn it. A little bit of dinner. Just making it work again. Since it was requested. I'm going to double my deaths just here. But I guess it's to be expected. It's the first time I'm fighting this thing in almost three years. Oh, it's been more than three years. It's been longer. doing it this way because it's, there's less pressure. Oh shit. Oh. That was close. Oh, 
shit. Is there a reason I'm bashing my face off the Lionel? How about because I want to have fun and this is what I consider fun. Also, I have to learn how to do this. Because if I want good weapons to be able to take on the, uh, the shrines that are a major challenge, I need the Lionel weapons. Because they're the strongest you can get. Not these ones, but the other ones. And because this one, it's like the early game, the easy one, it's probably the best one to practice on. So, that would be why. But also, I find it fun. I mean, that's the beauty of this game, is you can do whatever you want. <laughs> Hello, Messiah. Yes, poke, 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 poke. How's it going? Yes, don't poke the bear, but absolutely poke the Lionel. I knew I, that fell off. That felt off. <laughs> you can tell when you've not dodged it in time. It's okay. I'll get it. It's just this is the gateway to fighting the uh, the other Lionels. Oh yeah. Plus, you also get a lot of shock arrows here. That's the other reason I'm here. Excellent supply of arrows. Early on. And shock arrows are pretty invaluable. <laughs> At least it's not the baseball minigame. It's not the worst minigame I've had to play, but yeah. It was up there. Oh, like, I know I can collect arrows without fighting it, but, like, you know, the secondary goal is I do enjoy fighting the Lionels, but also I want to get familiar with... Wow, that fuck... That was just unlucky. That was... Wow. <laughs> that gave me no time to react. It just turned around and gored me. Okay, fine. <sighs> it's okay. Alright, here we go again. Yeah, I mean, it happens. Okay. Okay, I need to move away from that spot because it's causing him to not run far enough. And it just gives me less than a second to react. So... I need to move him away from that spot. That's the second time he's done that. Okay. 
buddy over here. We're fighting over here. What? <laughs> whoa, 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 what? What was that? How? I've never seen that before. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I just... <laughs> I got thrown... I got so thrown off by that. Oh, sorry, I'm neglecting chat. Hey, Laura, I saw you pop in there. I'm focused on my fight. That was so weird. All right. <laughs> it just went flying. Uh, yeah, no, that was... That's like the art of war right there. Confuse your enemy. Oh, I forgot to... Yeah, ba -ba 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 -ba. You. Hey, did I increment my... I've been keeping on top of the death count, right? I feel like I have. Like that last one I, I incremented, right? Girls. Okay, just shit. Sword. I gotta be careful, these swords. Oh. Okay, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Why are you crouching? I gotta be careful with the big swords, they work a little different. What the? 
Oh. How many deaths will I have? I don't know. That's that's a very hard question to ask. I know I'm gonna die a lot. Given that it's already up to 30, I don't think that's a conservative number, like 200. So. It's kinda hard to say. I wouldn't be able to put a number on it. I'm gonna leave that up to you, the audience, to predict that. That was better. I think this terrain is a little awkward, but... Right. Let's go with you. Oh, man. Shit, I didn't react. But you watch, but once I get the hang of this, I'll be able to take on the golden ones and not sweat about it. Lost it for a sec. Damn it. I'm getting closer to killing him. Okay. I mean, definitely a lot better than when I started. 
it's only been what like 15 minutes 20 minutes if that Oh, I thought I, I butchered that. Okay, okay. Still alive. Oh, what happened there? There is no auto death counter. I just have to press a button that I've programmed. I can just click it and that increments the overlay. Be nice if it would be automatic. But you know, Nintendo isn't very open about <laughs> how people work with their games. Remember how nice it used to be with, with uh, Mario Maker when a bunch of people made a bunch of stuff that made it easier for streamers to submit stuff and pull level information? And then they were like, nah. Well, I would like to beat this thing before I double the deaths, so I got two more lives before that happens. tried to be greedy. <laughs> Instead of throwing yourself at enemies over and over again, something about cookie, cooking. It gave me an advice about throwing myself at an enemy. The game knows. But see, this is, this is why this is, this is why I'm doing this, because I want to learn to be good. Yeah, no, I knew that was about to happen. Probably t Ooh. Oh no! I'll avenge you! Kill the poor innocent fox. Oh. 
the stupid rocks keep getting in the way, man. It's it's making it hard because he doesn't run back as far as he usually does. <laughs> Why is this being such a problem? Anyway. Again with that rock. <laughs> that rock keeps screwing me over. I need to. I need to move away. I need to move away from it. I have to move away from it. It just keeps happening where he just instantly turns around. How can I lead him away from that rock? I think I need to be patient and wait. This was... I need to pick a different starting spot. Because that is just horrible. It just keeps happening over and over again. I think maybe if I fight him here, it might be better. Let me look around. Saving again. Man. Did I bait the Divine Beast? I'm not touching the Divine Beast until the very, very end. It's gonna be one of the last things to happen. Because the Divine Beast gives you a heart. Oh, don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare. That's why I want to be close to it, because otherwise it pulls out the bow and then it's, it's nearly impossible to get to where it is. Okay, you're over here, aren't you? Yeah, okay. No, sword's out. What do I... Hang on. There we go. a little awkward, but it worked. <laughs> Fucking rock! Okay, but I responded to it correctly. Having more troubles with this than I thought I would. It seems I'm just I'm just positioning myself where he just runs into a boulder, and then I can't do much about it. Damn it! Okay. Oh. 
Really? <laughs> How many hits did I get in there? Before he was like, oh, I'm being attacked. Yeah, I don't know if this was worth my time, but I don't care. I want to practice. Too greedy. <laughs> Be honest. If this is getting annoying, let me know. The hitting of the the brick wall. The brick wall is why why you're here. Okay. Words of encouragement. unfortunately okay uh next This is where I'm gonna pull out the big gun. Okay, um... Kind of afraid, so I'll pull out the axe. Don't die. Oh. Why'd you have to jinx it? <laughs> well, what the... What? The fuck was that? <laughs> Does anyone have uh, an explanation for that one? Or is that just my glitch passive starting to run rampant? What the fuck was that? I don't know what the hell was. <laughs> okay, let's just... whatever. Creative camera work. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Hello, Colin. How are you? Good morning! <sighs> 
If you're a fan of brick walls, uh, yeah. This is content right here. Oh, crap already. Okay. close. Okay, hold on. I don't have to heal because it's, it's basically one hit anyway. That was quick. Ready. <laughs> Fuck. Wasn't ready, wasn't ready. Gotta tap before. Oh, lucky. That's the closest I've gotten to beat in it. Mm. Damn it. Okay. Just give me a sec. I need I need a minute. Ah stretching. Yeah, the death counter was much requested, so. I made it work again. <laughs> okay. The thing is, if I would commit one of the... the temporary heart foods that I made... then I could probably get it done, but I don't want to. It's just the red one. It's just the red Lionel. It should not be necessary. Like, this is fine. Committing this is fine. 
Anyway, how's uh, everyone's morning day going? Did I take a picture of him? I don't have the camera yet. That's where I'm going after this. I'll be able to come back. I'm gonna have to come back anyway. <laughs> Alright, I'm not gonna let this go. If I can't get... If I can't get him at 60, I might go. <laughs> I'm giving myself a time budget here, otherwise it's gonna drive people insane. Okay. Just started work. Oh. Let the sounds of my frustration uh, make your work day go quicker. My day was good. Because I didn't stream yesterday. I finished up. Whack, and then I watched stuff. And then I got, I got pretty tired early, so I, I got a lot of sleep last night. So today, as a work day. Went by pretty quickly. I'm I'm repositioning myself. <laughs> I'm moving my chair. It's putting myself in the sweaty gamer position. Ah! I increment the count. I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. If I don't increment the count to let me know, keep an eye on it. Sometimes out of frustration, I'll forget. Uh oh, this might not be good. He might run into. No. Nope. Oh. I also have been publishing these videos right away, so they go up on YouTube pretty quickly. In fact, the first two- ah! The first two are up. Jesus Christ. Focus! I'm gonna go with Al. Yeah. You know what? Just go with this. It's fine. Oh shit, this is not good. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, the health refill only just started. Ah! 
I was like, oh, come on, I just got a slap my head. That was like two hits away, and I would have gotten it. <laughs> Hello, Gammy, how's it going? Yeah, all right, all right. All right. I missed. Damn it. No, I was focusing. Uh, you can freeze them with upgraded stasis, but that's not a possibility. But even then, the freeze time is not that long. <sighs> uh, I've got this. Like, I I'm pretty much there. I just need to stick the landing, that's all. Like, I'm getting them down pretty reliably. By the way, is anyone else feeling like they're hearing the Discord notification sound when I'm accessing the menus? Sometimes. I feel like I'm hearing it. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going crazy. Right after I get... Damn it, the first dodge sound. It's distracted me a couple of times. 
don't hear anything. Okay, I think I'm just going crazy. I'm not crazy, you're crazy! <laughs> just kidding. There. Right there. My god. I said 60. Okay, li just listen very carefully when the the dodge hint pops up and then I go to the menu. Just listen. Of course it requires me to be able to dodge it in the first place. Okay, you know what? I have an idea. Has anyone seen the movie Office Space at all? Just, just out of interest. There's a scene where it's pretty famous and it's referenced a lot in cartoons and just in pop culture in general. But it's, uh... They go out into a field and they beat the fuck out of a printer. Because, you know, the printer just keeps breaking down. So, that's- it's in that movie. Anyway, they- they play this song. And when I used to play this back in the day, <laughs> as a joke, I would play that song. Unfortunately, I can't play it now. Because DMCA. However, I can play it in my head. Because I can play music, at least on my end. I'm going to do that on my end, so I'll just know that if you know what scene I'm talking about, that's cool. If you don't, just afterwards look up the office space printer scene. Anyway, I'm listening to that song now. You shouldn't be able to hear it. If you can, give you a link. All right, hang on. Uh, office space printer scene. I mean, it's, it's famous, right? It's a good movie, by the way. It's uh, one of Jennifer Aniston's very first roles. Uh, yeah, that's it there. If you don't like rap music, understandable. But that's... That's the song that plays as they're beating the fuck out of the printer.
so it would appear that the song worked. I was listening to that song from Upper Space that whole time. And, uh, yeah, the song is finishing now. <laughs> All right. How long was that? I was like, what, an hour? <laughs> was, was it worth it? I mean, I have a Lionel shield now, so that's good. Thirty-five deaths, yeah. Well, at least I didn't triple them, I guess. That's... See, now... Now I am decked out. But the sword is worth it. Because it's a pretty strong sword. And I just used three weapons. Maybe technically four, but... I can replace, I can replace some of the stuff. So that's fine. All right. Moving on with the rest of the stream. Hello. That's all this is going to be later on YouTube is just me fighting this thing and then maybe walking around for half an hour before I split the VOD. But see, now I can collect all this stuff in peace. This is the reward. You missed the kill, can I do it again? <laughs> you'll, there's plenty of Lionels along the way. This won't be the last time you'll see me fight a Lionel. This is just me getting reaccustomed to uh, the combat involved. Plus also getting me a couple of good weapons, because the triple shot on the bow is pretty invaluable. Especially with shock arrows. Anyway. You'll see plenty more naked Lionel kills just further along the way. Can you repair items? No. It was one of the biggest complaints about this game was the durability system. There's a good amount of shock arrows near the peak. Yeah, I'll, I'll head up there. Shortly. I just want to make sure I do a good sweep around here. They bring it back for Tears of the Kingdom, but they've kind of addressed it because... The combining of weapons make them more durable. You hear like a bitch to get the shock arrows. Well, does this not inspire you to fight? I mean, if this was an 80s movie, this would have been the montage right here. I mean, you're the best around! That song would have played the entire time. But, you know, the good thing is, because now I have the sign of a warrior, it's like, oh, this dude's fought a Lionel and beat it. With just three hearts and being naked. It's my way to peacock a little. Is that a... Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Hello, well-known vintage. Welcome. But yeah, now I'm just going to do casual chill exploration. For a while. Need to go find a Hinox and get some replacement weapons. The Zora was training to touch shock arrows. I mean, credit where credit is due. Like, that can't be easy. But 
but this this was worthwhile. At least to me. I got better through the combat and uh, hit a bunch of shock arrows. Was that just an arrow just floating? In? No, that just looks weird. Okay. Now I can go get the... Wait, where's Zora's domain from here? I can go get the Korok on the building. I think it's over there I have to float from, not here. But that's fine. Is this a first playthrough? No. It's, uh... The playthrough for the second time, but Master Mode... Not gonna spend... The stuff until I find everything, so it's gonna be three hearts, naked, no fast travel for pretty much 95% of the playthrough. So, I just fought a Lionel with... Well, no clothing on. It was fun. Yeah, that's all I use Hinox for, is you just <laughs> glide past them, jump on their belly, snatch the weapons, and don't fight them. That's, that's pretty much it. And they're pretty decent weapons as well. I mean, if you want ingredients for potions, go for it, but... Yeah, I mean... You know it would have been hilarious if I beat I beat it and then Blood Moon immediately so it respawned. Okay, I'm just gonna explore around here and just get whatever Koroks I can get. If I remember correctly, this upper area doesn't really have that many. Doing a fourth playthrough. Cool. Good luck. Got a month to go before the game comes out. Well, the next one. Really, really hope that in Tears that they, they come up with the, something that lets you climb in the rain. This is probably a bad idea. Even if it's not something you get right away, just whether it be through an armor set or something, it just it's necessary. The healing other mobs bugs you a bit because they force you to play very aggressive. I mean, that's that's part of the challenge, isn't it? Just make sure you have enough arrows and just pick at them. You just got to get used to... If you haven't done any damage for five seconds, shoot an arrow. You get used to it. Yeah. <laughs> I do need the, the jelly. Just need to be careful.
Yeah, so I'm just going to travel along this top shelf and then drop down. And I'm going to head to uh, Kakarika and then Hatino. I, I should probably have gotten the camera first, but I wanted to come up here and bait this thing. Chat, you want, do you want to hear something? I'll be completely honest. When I was fighting this Lionel just then, and I was learning how to do the, the flurry thing, and I accidentally did the parry with the shield, that was the very first time ever that I had done that. I mean, I kind of assumed it existed, but I'd never really tried to do it before. <laughs> so... I've only done it to deflect beams, that's about it. Everything else is just, uh, dodge and then do the, the flurry rush thing. Go back to the start and kill the silver one. If I had better weapons, I would. It's just right now, I'm, I'm getting up to the point where this is how it's going to work, pretty much. I have to acquire at least... Okay. I need a fire sword. Any kind of fire sword. That'll let me progress cold. And then everything else I need my weapons at at least base 20 or higher. Once I have that, then I can go entertain fi fighting whatever you wish. I went the wrong way. I'm bad with directions. If you've ever seen uh, One Piece, I'm like uh, Zoro. Not in real life, just in games. In real life, I have a pretty good sense of direction. I go somewhere once, I more or less know how to get there. The silver one's not really the challenge, the golden ones are the ones where it's going to be fun. Nice this. Okay, I need to stop here for a minute. Ooh. There's a bunch of frogs here. Hey! Trying to be. There you go. Hmm. 
Frogs are one of those things, as far as food goes, I'm not convinced that I'll ever try. Or snails, for that matter. Because the, ar the argument I've heard for trying it is that they're good, and how they're prepared is effectively garlic and butter, and it's like, yeah, but, I, mean, I mean, if you douse anything in large quantities of that, I'm, I'm sure it would taste good. Ah, just pulling fish out of the water with my bare hands. Okay, I'm gonna make it a mission to not die anymore. I mean, in, in this next hour, I'm gonna try my hardest not to die. I need to make up for the fact that I died so many times. I need to average these numbers out. Not that I'll wear it, but this is just for, uh, for the sake of completion, I guess. I forgot where the pants are. Don't, don't mind the explosion. <laughs> I think there's a side quest to collect a bunch of those, so... Nothing to see here. easier to kill. I wonder if they're gonna make another master mode for tears. I don't think it's gonna get it right away. I think it's gonna be just another one of the, the DLC. This is my theory about this game, that 
I've said a few times in the past, but I believe that this is the only Zelda game in the timeline that actually exists. Because if, if you think about how this game functions, it's, you know, a hundred years ago, Link gets mortally wounded and gets put into a slumber. Right? And then wakes up a hundred years later. I think all the other games, including all the thing about the split timeline and all that, that's just Link having a bunch of dreams. And it would explain why sometimes he's a cartoon character, sometimes he's a wolf. S sometimes dreams about childhood. Every other game is just a dream in his head whilst he's uh, waiting to wake up. And then he wakes up. And as a result of being asleep for a hundred years, he's developed some form of psychosis that lets him see invisible people. Like, he thinks he's seeing Koroks, but there's no one really there. No one else can see them, just him. So, that's just a result of being in a deep sleep for a hundred years, is he's seeing shit. And that's what I think the Zelda timeline is, really. It's just Breath of the Wild, that's the only timeline. Everything else is just Link in his sleep. I mean, there's nothing too outlandish. There's no time travel or anything in this. There will be DLC. Well, that's a given. I mean, that's... That's the thing with modern day Nintendo is like... Before they even release a game, they already have DLC planned for it. Or announced. Or sometimes, in the case of, say, the sports games, they'll release it and be like, Oh yeah, it's getting more stuff later, but we're gonna release it like this. Truffle. One of the other limitations you put on your own. Wait, which was that when upgrading slots, you had to do one of each. Oh, so you couldn't spam one side. Yeah, that's a fair one. I'm just not going to get slots, period, until... Well, if I find all the Koroks. Then you can see Hestu dance for, for 40 minutes. We all like Hestu, we all like seeing him dance, so... He'll just dance for 40 whole minutes when I go redeem everything. Cause that's what it is. <laughs> You're gonna see Hestu dance for 40 minutes. Uh, I wish I was kidding. Oh, okay. Phantom deal. <laughs> the hills are haunted by Phantom deal. So, I think from here I'm gonna find the spot to jump back to Zora's Domain. 
and get the Korok directly on top of the building. I think it's that over there. That, that looks correct. Oh, no, wait. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. I think it's... It's where I fought the Lionel, but it's the lookout point. Okay. But, yeah, these hills don't have much on them, so I, I probably won't come back here unless I'm super desperate to find Koroks. That's why I wanted to get it out of the way first, because... I do remember in the final hunt, this was an area that I regret coming back to because there just was not much up here. Just ignore that, we'll be fine. <laughs> they give up pretty easily. Whilst that tower might look tempting, I know how much of a struggle it is to get that one. Especially when you're at the top. Oh, what is what what is going on with Link's skin color right now? Is that just <laughs> That's just the sun hitting it? Looks like it's gotten a little too much spray tan. I think it's just the lighting, it just looks weird. <laughs> Can you get sunburnt in this game? Uh, when you're in the desert, he does show signs of uh, red. You don't get burnt, but the skin complexion, I feel like it does change. See, you just need to go with the, uh, the three S's. Slip, slop, slap. That's what we, uh, say in Australia. Those chests are just never worth it. What kind of fish are those? Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, it's fine. Well, I mean, the other thing with fast travel is that you're more likely to miss Koroks because you're not traversing parts of the map that you've already been on. So in the interest of finding Koroks, you should not be using fast travel. Wow, that looks a lot closer than what it is. What is that? I feel like it's not worth going down there because then I can't get back up easily. If multiple, if I would have gotten multiple fish, sure. But for one, nah. 
Yeah, I think that's the best piece of advice I can give if you're looking for all the Korok, is don't fast travel. It's from that point over there, so we're nearly there. What's your most memorable moment in this game, if you've played it? I've had a few. I think... One of them was, uh, I was walking around and one of the bulls was just stuck here and, like, not here, but imagine a wall and then you just see the bull's ass sticking out of the wall and nothing else. And it's making noises trying to charge away, so that was great. I don't think... The screenshots I took are stored on this console. They are on the other one. Um, I might pull up some of my old screenshots because a lot of them are just... Things looking weird or Link making just an odd face. Oh, another shock arrow. Lots of cool stuff happens as you wander around. I think one of the moments that I was pretty wowed at was just seeing that the enemies can... It's not like a case of everyone's against you. It's sometimes things will fight each other. I thought that was always cool. And just how that was always... When you talk to someone about how they were going in this game and the particular shrines, everyone seemed to have a different way they solved it. So, okay, so from here, there's the beast, there's Zora's domain. Alright, so I, I'm gonna save in case I mess this up. And I'll probably have to eat one of the stamina things, but that's fine. This is the only way I'm gonna get this Korok. The dragons gave you a while. Yeah, actually, the dra. The first dragon I came across was, uh, in the jungle, with the electric one. It just came out of nowhere from the waterfall. It's pretty cool. Okay. one's my lowest stamina granting one. I think all of them they're about the same. Alright, consume. I forget what this is exactly, but let me just... just land somewhere. Okay. I forget where this one is specifically. I don't think it's up here because we would have seen the... the visual effect of it. It's somewhere along here. I just need to look and be careful about it because I don't want to drop... I get the feeling it's here. Let me just... I can always reload it, but I, I, I'm pretty certain it's here. In there. 
There we go. Oh, the chest. Ugh. I don't think there's anything important in there, but get it anyway since we're here. <laughs> the chests are just so anticlimactic. Like, look at that. That's just a spear that does nine. For something that in any other Zelda game it would have been pretty significant. Okay. We're gonna head to Hatino. They're not restocked yet, okay. Well, Kakariko then Hatino, so... I can't remember if there's Koroks here. There might be. I know there's definitely stuff. Okay, let me check this out. I mean... Uh, kind of... Kind of solid. <laughs> I think one good quality of life thing they can do to make the weapon thing less tedious is... Have a place where you can store stuff. So then if you have a bunch of weapons, you just stash them and then find more and then you just pull from your weapon stash. I wanted the fish. Where'd it go? There was a fish there. <laughs> I don't know what it was. There it is. I can't get it now, but... I'll throw a bomb in. Okay. Uh, there you go. What is it? Vault fin. Eh, yeah. I wish you could pet the fox. <laughs> That's just Ghost of Tsushima right there. Even in Ghost of Tsushima, I wish they would have made it so you can just go back and pet the fox. They did it later on with the DLC where you could go to the, uh... The deer and pet them again, but you couldn't pet the foxes again. Wait, doesn't this lead up somewhere or am I... Am I tripping here? It might be the bridge. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Temporarily put this on. Okay. 
never kill foxes. Oh, I know. Oh, shit. Where is that coming from? Ah. That would be where. Now, that is definitely one way to make chat angry at you. I mean, murdering fish, yeah, perfectly fine. As long as it's not cute, you can murder it. Wolves? I don't think... I've never really had anyone go, oh, why'd you murder that wolf for? Also, hey, Cookie. Uh-oh. Wait, how high does this go? Oh, this is this one, okay. Remove. Wolves try to eat you. Yeah, but... I mean... Take the, uh... The cat-looking animals in, uh... Skyward Sword. Those things attack you at night, but people still are like, Why are you attacking them for? Been here for 20 minutes and forgot to talk. That's fine. There's no pressure to ever have to. I'm getting sidetracked here. Oh, thank you for the follow. I think I'm just going to leave this area for now. I've done what I wanted to do. Oh, see, that's what I've done wrong. But I guess since I'm here... This is the one that wants the stone, right? Oh, it's you. We met at Zorua. It's me, Leto. Thank you for coming so quickly. You listened to what King Dorfin had to say. Yes, so that is the cause of our suffering in Zora's domain. It is all because of that beast, Ruta. That's why my senior apprentice, Frank, and I are repairing the domain. However, our materials are a bit depleted. Materials? Yes. Repairs require a large number of luminous stones. You can find plenty of them around upland Zorana. Have you by any chance stumbled across them? For instance, if you have ten of them, that'd be a big help. I don't have ten, I believe. I have four, okay. I'm sure I'll, I'll get ten eventually. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, you, hi. It's me. I'm the one Prince Sidon left at the top of the tower. My name's Groove. In the end, I wasn't able to join up with Prince Sidon. Instead, I worked up some fighting spirit and jumped into the Zora River from the top of the tower. Then I came back up here. I was deeply moved, seeing my reflection on the water's surface as I dove in. Yes, deeply moved. It is my observation that a person's true colors shine the brightest when they dive freely into the waves. Congratulations on the new Zora armor. It is most impressive indeed. Wearing the Zora armor, even a Hylian like you can climb a waterfall and get back up here in no time. That said, if you don't mind me asking, could you show me your true colors? Okay. Yeah, I mean, this one's easy to do. Whoops. That's not a dive, that's like a, a lunge. What? Isn't that supposed to be automatic? <laughs> or is it, I have to press jump. <laughs> no, you did it! <laughs> I also accidentally did a, a strike, so let me get rid of my my Lionel Sword just to prevent disasters. What the f- <laughs> This is kind of embarrassing. There we go. <laughs> Blinding brightness. It only took you six times, but wow. Well, you don't fall, you have to press jump. It's, it's just, this is the curse of playing the other Zelda games before this one. Is every, every Zelda game before this one, the jumping is all when you run off the edge, the, it jumps for you. But in this one, that's not the case. So I'm still getting used to that. That's how that you messed that up. Can you feel that? My soul is on fire. It's pulsating with beauty. You showed me something truly special. Thank you so much. Now, then come over here real quick. That was amazing. I saw your dive and waterfall climb with my own eyes. And now these eyes are flooded with tears of joy. Yes, I must thank you somehow. Oh, I feel emotionally ravaged after that. It's not every day I get to see a diving form as beautiful as yours, you know? I'll be looking forward to your next dive, I really will. In the time that it took me to do that, I could have just walked to the... the shrine there and, uh, just picked up five of these. The reward. No, don't do that. I could have just gotten five of these just around the corner. Oh. Uh, I don't know if these respawn, so I'm going to leave them there. They're not that high damaging anyway. I believe this is the bridge.
It's <laughs> being picky. There we go. Look at that, perfectly balanced on the side. <laughs> okay. I think the best part about this is they complain about the missing trident. You talk to them about it, and they're like, oh, the trident is missing. Even though you could be carrying the trident on you. I guess it's better than what I have. I'm trying to remember where I can use the Trident. Odds are I'm probably gonna die attempting it. But there's, there's a spot somewhere. <gasps> it's very clear. Okay. If it isn't Master Link, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? We used to play together all the time. That was a hundred years ago. My name is Gaddison. The Hylian that Prince Sidon brought here. Don't tell me that was you, Master Link. And what's more, you don't seem to have changed much in the last hundred years. Oh, but I shouldn't be making idle chit-chat just now. I'm supposed to be fulfilling my officially appointed duty by watching at the East Gate. I must maintain my surveillance of the East Reservoir Lake. We can chat later. Ah yes, good old Gaddison. A friendship that runs very deep, and we're sure to see him in many more Zelda games to come. Where's this waterfall that I'm supposed to ascend and then jump off? It might be that one. Oh, ooh, ooh that was almost fatal. You should be able to see the reflection of the the shrine in the water.
Well, this is the highest point, so it's got to be something near here. It's been so long. The memory is there, but I don't remember specifically where. I mean, you would think it would be at a pretty peaceful waterfall. Okay, it's not that one. Dude, I don't see it. I think I might be over there. Don't notice me. Nothing to see here. It's okay. Yep. <laughs> Go about your business. Nothing to see here. I think it's over there. I think this is this is correct now. Unfortunately. Oh boy. Ah shit. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> okay, that wasn't that bad of a fall. Yeah, base stamina. It's okay, it wasn't an entire waste. Oh, yeah, check this out, chat. That trident. Huh? A Hylian, not just any Hylian, you're Link. Of all the Hylians Prince Sidon could have brought back, what are the odds it would turn out to be Link? Lady Mipha's revenge, I shall enact it here and now. Wait. What did you say? I, Trello, shall punish you on behalf of our beloved Lady Mipha. Ahem, that's what I'd like to do, anyhow. But I'm afraid those of us in the Zora Council have our hands full trying to figure out what to do next with Rita. Rita? Uh, they may have patched this. You're alive a hundred years ago, so surely you cannot have forgotten. Lady Mipha, our Zora champion, in order to help defeat Calamity Ganon, she piloted the Divine Beast for Rita. But I do not understand. Why is the Divine Beast sending a plague of rain to us and making the Domain suffer? I think the rain is... The tears of Lady Mipha, who was defeated without fulfilling her duty. This dude complains about the missing trident. 
despite you having the trident in your hand, but I guess that may have changed. But I do remember laughing about it. <laughs> anyway. I guess they must have fixed that little... that little minor detail. Almost got me. Yeah, here it is. This is what I was looking for. This is either going to work the first time or I'm going to be here for 15, 20 minutes. There is no in-between. Okay. This is a little more bullshit because these enemies are here, so you have you have less time to align yourself, but Okay. But how do you do this? No, that wasn't gonna work. Oh come on! I used the glider. I'm not dead. Which I guess could have been worse. Forget how you do the down stab. It has to be from a good height as well, otherwise it just doesn't register. How do you do it? Oh, there it is. I missed. I missed. <laughs> okay. I mean, that was likely gonna happen. I was slightly off. What? That wasn't enough. <laughs> it magically breaks your fall, so... 
I'm going to consume a meal as I climb this waterfall. I don't, I don't know how to do this properly. Hang on. Breath of the Wild, down, stab, in air. How do you do it? Press the attack button while gliding. Really? It's just that simple? I thought you had to release it, but I, that's... Alright, I guess that's, that's the instruction I'm reading. Oh yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> Salvaged. Okay. It does give you a little, a little bit of time. I'm just flying away too much. I think that should suffice. Like, here. Not good enough. Oh. I didn't die, though. Did I hit that? Wait, so I think that fish may have saved me from dying. Because I definitely struck something. But I didn't die. It wasn't the platform. <laughs> that was weird. There we go. That's better. Wait, it has to be smack bang in the middle? I guess increment the death counter. Or maybe I have to be wearing the Zora armor. Ugh, that might be the other technicality. This one sucks because it's just my death count is just gonna keep incrementing if I get it wrong. Pretty good. What? I think it has to be smack bang in the middle. Otherwise, it just doesn't work. Ah.
too far out. It has to be like... Nope. Let's try this. What? I mean, it has to be high enough the way you, you take some damage, but it can't be too high. <sighs> All right, whatever. <laughs> This is the reality I face. Nope. 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 <laughs> I did say this was either going to be something I got the first time or it was just going to take 15, 20 minutes. Oh, and thank you for the follow, Vintage. Appreciate it. I guess... Nope. That worked. How is that different to what I did before? I landed in a pretty similar spot. It wasn't in the middle. Alright, wh whatever. This has served its purpose. Back to naked. Daga kick. I can't believe I'm up to 60 deaths now. <laughs> the, death, the death tally has tripled today. It's okay. You have already proven your worth. Love it. So much death. Okay. I think with that, if I look at this, that's good coverage of Zora's Domain for now. I'm going to leave Zora's Domain and we're going to head to, uh, to Kakariko and then Hatino. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. But... For now, I'm going to do a small intermission chat. I need to go refill my water bottle. And I want to stretch for a bit because it's been three, almost three and a half hours. So, just 
just uh we'll take a short two to five minute intermission but we will continue but if you're watching later on youtube this is where we bid you farewell for the time being but uh yeah hope you're enjoying the playthrough so far and enjoyed me hitting my head against the lionel brick wall for today all right bye youtube <laughs> thanks for watching youtube <laughs>